with that, we'll, we'll hear from Dr. Blevins next for five minutes of testimony. Thank you. Good morning, Chairwoman Stevens, Ranking Member Waltz, Ranking Member Lucas, and members of the subcommittee. My name is Linda Blevins, and I'm the Deputy Assistant Director of the Engineering Directorate at the National Science Foundation. It is an honor to appear before you today, along with our federal partners, to discuss the important role NSF plays in the National Windstorm Impact Reduction Program. NSF supports research across all fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and all levels of STEM education. This uniquely positions NSF to facilitate partnerships that bring diverse groups of researchers together with communities, private industry, and others to identify problems and put science, engineering, and technology to work to develop solutions. NSF does this across the entire country, tackling problems at the national, regional, and local levels, and ensuring that Americans from every geographic and demographic background participate in and benefit from NSF investments. For decades, NSF has been fostering research and innovation to improve resilience to natural hazards, including windstorms like hurricanes, tornadoes, and nor'easters. NSF-funded researchers examine the fundamentals of how windstorms form, move, change, and interact with earth, water, and climate forces to improve prediction and risk assessment. They examine the behavior of buildings, infrastructure, and the natural environment in the face of wind forces to enable better designs and mitigation options and they examine community consequences and human responses to support improved planning and policy, emergency response, risk communication, and decision support. Working alongside our partners at NIST, NOAA, and FEMA, NSF harnesses this mindset for NWERP. We do so through operating state-of-the-art research infrastructure, offering coordinated research programs, supporting the most promising ideas from across the country, and by investing in the development of a diverse workforce that is critical to the future. For example, NSF's Natural Hazards Engineering Research Infrastructure, or NARI, is a national network of experimental facilities that provides researchers access to world-class, unique capabilities. This network includes NARI's Boundary Layer Wind Tunnel at the University of Florida, the Wall of Wind at Florida International University, the Wave Research Laboratory at Oregon State, and a coordination office at Purdue. Through those and other, through these and other NERI facilities, researchers study everything from hurricane force winds to tsunamis. NSF's Civic Innovation Challenge is a program where communities and the research enterprise collaborate to address community identified priorities. Through this program, NSF recently funded projects that will enable the development of rural resilience hubs in Florida and new tools for recovery from storm damage in Virginia's Hampton Roads area. It is vital to support research as natural disasters unfold to record and preserve information that would otherwise be lost and impossible to replicate. NSF's Rapid Response Research Awards, or RAPIDS, do just that. Through RAPID projects, NSF has funded research in the immediate aftermath of several major windstorms, including Hurricanes Florence and Michael in 2018, the Easter Sunday 2020 tornadoes, and the U.S. Midwest 2020 derecho. NSF also funds seven standing networks called Extreme Event Reconnaissance Networks that are ready to deploy when needed. Extreme weather research relies on basic understanding of weather and climate patterns and trends. NSF investments in climate research span everything from the physical processes that determine hurricane intensity to tornado genesis and tornadic vortex structure. This research improves predictions and helps community, communities to mitigate and adapt. Looking forward, the facilities, basic research, and researchers supported by NSF will be key to achieving our shared goal of preventing natural hazards, including windstorms, from becoming societal disasters. Investments in new areas like artificial intelligence will provide even better understanding. 
NSF appreciates Congress's continued support for the agency's mission and its important contributions to critical national priorities like NWR. We look forward to continuing to work with the committee and with our partner agencies. Thank you again for the opportunity to testify and I'm happy to answer questions. Thank you, Dr. Blevins. With that, we will hear from Mr. Grimm. 